the improvements in our particular case, but also in all the cancer types, is trying to personalize medicine, so understanding that each patient has his own, his own cancer, even if they have the same type of cancer. So this is what we are trying to do in leukemia. So we are collecting samples of patients. We are directly working on the cells of these patients, and we are trying to to understand the biology of the disease totally. Not only focus on the genes, but also in the proteins, environment, morphology, response to more than 500 drugs that are in research currently. So we are trying to combine all this information to understand what is happening in a specific patient to choose the best treatment for them. So this is the idea and this is the same idea that a lot of researchers are doing for the other types of cancers. Currently eight months into your research work, so when do you think you'll actually be ready to deliver it on actual patients? We, we will develop our research for five years, so hopefully after five years we will have been generated hypothesis uh, looking at the cells of the patients. We will validate this hypothesis in mouse models because we, this is the first step before a clinical trial and then we will start clinical trials directly in patients. So we, once we have understood, uh, we, once we have understood totally the disease, we will treat those patients with the drugs that we have selected for them. So, but this takes time. So after five years, hopefully, we we hope to start so some clinical trials to treat those patients, and we'll see because a clinical trial um, takes like I don't know, like ten years maybe until having this into, translate totally into clinics. So it depends uh, because those these particular patients with leukemia have a very poor prognosis. So may, and some of the drugs that we are testing have been already approved by by FDA. So maybe the 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 the, the way will be a little bit faster in this particular case, hopefully. So we don't receive any government funding at Cancer Research UK, so we rely um, entirely on, on our amazing supporters. So our supporters support us in a, a number of different ways. So it, it might be through fundraising in their communities, like the committee out here in Gibraltar, um, donating stock to our shops, taking part in one of our events, making a monthly donation. Um, but yeah, it's, it's absolutely vital in um, contributing towards the work that we do. So we're the world's largest charitable funder of cancer research. Um, so we fund research obviously worldwide and um, the community here in Gibraltar is, is so important in that kind of fight against cancer.